Hey guys, back in another video, and before the main thing of this video starts, I want to show you the things that my family got me for my birthday. First off, an automated, my sister Autumn, who I told you I want to start a gaming channel with, uh, she got helped my dad pick out this Funko Pop from Marvel. This is the first one from her series. This is Black Widow from Black Widow. It's really a good choice because my dad was either going to grab this or a Pikachu Pop figure, which I already happen to have. He is behind Beetlejuice at this moment. <laughs> Another thing that um, I'm... I think my dad got me... Yeah, my dad did get me this. This was definitely near the top of my list because I really want to... He has seen this movie. And he said it's now one of his favorites. I... First off, I am addicted to Eminem's song for this movie. And I am addicted to JT Music's... Um... Uh, Rap for this, no hero, and I can't wait to watch this along with the DVD I have of WCCW. Uh, this next one is just funny and kind of an in joke. I'll explain it to you. Uh, for me and my family, Taco Tuesday. Let me explain, okay? As a kid, um, <laughs> I tried to have. And as, as a daily thing, um, taco day at my house for dinner, since I love my mom's homemade tacos. And that's pretty much it. I just love my mom's taco. I love tacos. So, there's that. Then there's this. Uh, this was, I believe, sec very top of my list. This is a video game that I really wanted to get because it's not like any other video game I have, but it, I think it would be a good idea for me since, as you know... I am a very big person. I'm not. I sad to be big. I'm proud to be a big guy. I hate the commercials where it makes you think. Basically, if you don't look like Lex freaking Luger, you're doing something wrong in your life. Basically, body shaming. And I know there's all those. I need to break through your heads. All it basically is is, hey, fat ass, buy my shit to make you think you're losing weight. This could be no, but I like this. This is Ring Fit Adventures. I remember seeing the uh, advertisement for this, and the thing I liked is it wasn't like a normal uh, weight loss routine thing, to where it wasn't advertised. Like, it was just still advertised as an adventure video game. You just happen to move and exercise while you play it, and I. That's kind of my videos like this one right now, and the next one I'm going to be making are coming up very late. Because I was playing this for a good hour. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back with the introduction to what this video is. BRB. Back. Let me take you back to 2003. A very special year for people. More specifically, let me take you back to July 17th, 2003. That is when a... Halloween special came out that would imp be imprinted and immortalized to people for god damn it almost a decade and that is Scary Godmother's Halloween Spooktacular and I say this because welcome to the forgotten Scary Godmother Halloween Spooktacular I know this is a very weird one since so many people do remember this, but this is for the people probably who don't remember this, of course, with the Forgotten. Anyway, uh, let's get into it, shall we? And also, free on YouTube is this picture. A very simple movie, a TV only appearance. Find it on YouTube as well as its sequel, The Revenge of Jimmy. I recommend both. And interestingly enough, other than this Halloween TV movie came out in the summer, this is based on a comic, a uh, book series. Let's get into it. One thing that has aged like a fine wine is the music. One thing that has aged like milk is this animation. 
I will never deny that this animation has not aged well. It is god awfully ugly. <laughs> ugly animation, but it's the kind of animation where, unlike, let's say, um, reboot, I guess, or, um, I can't believe I'm bringing this up in this sentence, um, comparing it to Rap City Street Kids. It is bad, but it is tolerable animation. It's timed. It's aged. Happy Halloween, Katie. You got a nice costume. You're right. I'm sitting alone in a cemetery and... Daryl, are you a piece of candy? Yeah, cool, huh? I figure when people see me, I'll make the candy they give out look small. So they'll overcompensate by giving us more. Smart, huh? Brilliant. Do you ride the short Where bus? Getting his little cousin, I think. His mom's making him take her out <laughs> And here's our, our um, what's the word? Our token black kid. Person. Where's Jimmy? Oh, it's creepy out here. Parkour! And the devil shall appear. I hate these Halloween costumes where it's just a sweat uh, a onesie. You're late. I know. I had to get the baby. Come on, Hannah. I'm having to be fair, all these costumes are what kids sometimes would do, and that is create their own costumes out of stuff they would find in their closet, essentially. Which I kinda respect. I also love how everyone who has watched this movie are uh, have pointed this out that Hannah has is the only one that have developed eyes out of these characters. My mom doesn't let me touch glitter. Not since that incident with the glue and the dog. What happened? My parents are giving out big candy bars for trick or treat. I brought one for everyone. That's cool of you. I'll put this in my glove compartment for later. I can get my own Halloween candy. I don't need any baby's help. Dick. Now, my creatures of the night. Sorry to interrupt you, but I'm not really a creature of the night. I'm a baseball player. Then I'm a piece of candy. Dummy. Don't look at me. I'm a full-fledged creature of the night. <laughs> Daryl, there is nothing scary about a piece of candy. Hey, you could be a mean piece of candy. Like when you eat too much of it, and it finally gets you sick. So the last piece. That's good. I'm that last piece of candy that makes you sick. Mm -hmm. Now, Bert, baseball players play night games, right? You know, you could have just coordinated, so I coordinated this, you know, got yourselves together to organize this okay. idea of being monsters and or creatures of the night. And no. Creature of the night, either. I'm gonna take you home right now. Now <laughs> is our time. We become monsters surging forth. Monsters! Monsters! Hey. Jimmy! I'm sorry, Jimmy. I didn't know how powerful it was. What the heck were you shining that dumb thing around for? Flashback? Flash Cut to those. One of the stupidest scenes in the movie. Even I, I love this movie to death. Even I admit this is weirdly stupid. Oh, she'll be fine. She'll be with Jimmy and his friends. They're very responsible. So how do they find a gravestone that looks just like a TV? She's got a good head on her shoulders. I'm just glad she's going with Daryl. He's so big and strong, he can take care of any monster. Monsters? And, um... Come on, honey. We both know Katie will look out for her. You found a pipe. I trust that, Daryl. With his boyish good looks and sense of fair play. Good. Grief. Ding dong. Don't, Don't worry, pumpkin. Daryl will protect you from the monsters. You're just freaking this kid out more. Ding dong, ding dong already. Oh, that must be Jimmy. I'll catch it. Here you go, honey. Monsters can't stand with lights. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, don't you look cute? Thanks. Even if it is a stupid decision, 
And we ask why we do it. I'm positive every kid has at one point shined a light in their eyes. Don't worry, honey. If you get frightened, Jimmy's promised to take care of you. Okay, Mommy. Bye! Silence, you! Shine your flashlight around and scare all the monsters, okay? I need to talk to these guys for a second. Okay, Jimmy. You hmm. bet for the kid with what's gonna happen next. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna ditch Hannah. We all want lots of candy, don't we? So we'll scare her. And she'll run home, and then we can do what we want, okay? Wow. She's kind of slow. Yeah, we can go faster than a group of big kids. And get twice as much candy without her. Are you kidding me? Cuteness gets candy on Halloween. Sure we have the best Halloween yet. I didn't find any monsters. Good work, Hannah. You're not scared, are you? Maybe a little. You want to be a big kid, right? Right. Well, if you're a big kid, you won't be afraid to trick or treat the spook house. Years ago, on Halloween night, people who lived here forgot to leave candy for the hungry monsters and got eaten for it. What's that? Every year, the new kid has to leave candy in the basement of the abandoned spook house to keep the monsters from eating every. I mean, that's a good shot. <laughs> the baby will turn and run. Dude, the thing is, when you were a kid... No. Your little cousin just went into the spook When you were a kid, especially like, with scary. your big cousin, you try to impress them by doing this kind of stuff. How? How? That one I can kind of understand, but how? Hurry, Get to the there's there's there. scaring on Halloween, and then there's being a dick. This is being a dick. It's a little better um, tutu vanish for a second. Okay, that scene is like shit. This is just cruel, man. But I was a kid watching this. I wanted to rip Jimmy's head off for being such of a jerk to his cousin. This effect is still kind of cool to me. This entrance, still pretty fun. I don't care how sad you are. If you hear that kind of stuff with those flashing lights, you look up. Oh, eh. Move the logic. Honest, how many people after this movie didn't want a fairy godmother? They wanted a scary godmother. Soundtrack is still great from this movie. Whoever did the music went all out for this man with the. Uh, I don't know what the, 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 I don't know what instrument that is. If you guys can recognize it, please leave it in the comments. 
Looks like a guitar. <laughs> facial expressions in this. That, again, is a good scene that has aged pretty well. The jack o' lantern clowns. Or clouds. And they're like, ah! And the music. Like, Congratulations, you probably gave your little cousin a freaking panic attack and she died. <laughs> I know what's coming next. What anyone who's seen this knows who's going to be introduced. It almost looks like she knew she was where he was when he's just playing with screwing with her. This is... <laughs> Introducing the first gay character anyone knew! A monster! That's no monster! It's just my brood. And the first gay character anyone ever realized. Sorry to be so late, but I just had to get these old bones bleached for the party. You look 300 years younger. A character who has aged like a fine wine is Mr. Pettibone. He ain't in the closet no more! Does anyone have a skeleton in their closet? Almost everyone, little man. Oh god. <laughs> it's too easy. I work in the closets of all the old houses, keeping their secrets and just rattling around. But when it comes to Halloween night, I love nothing more than to roll the bones at a good party. You are staying for the party, aren't you? Yes. Oh! Well. Good. I don't know. Scary Godmother said that there will be monsters at the party. She also having to reboot herself in the back. Oh, my. You just haven't met enough good ones yet. You see, Hannah, monsters are pausing all and make jokes. Fire. Some are real nice, and some are not so nice. But all of them are creepy and crawling. <laughs> Give me gut, but uh, gut busting laughing, but it's still a joke that works for me. It still makes me laugh. Is that joke? I still quote it every ho October. And presenting the fit in the song that will be stuck in your head for weeks and years. After hearing this song, you will not be able to go to, into October without hearing that song. There is no way someone dressed as great would get that big of candy. Aw, oh, man, this is wasting our precious trick-or-treating time. You three can leave! Least, She's I'm Jimmy's responsibility. Treating in on the way here. You know, if you pick first, then you won't need to trade with me all the time. I like trading with you, Dale. I never know what I want until you pick it out first. I love that this is what got, got me and my sister into trading candies for Halloween for a few years. Two caramels for three big chocolate bars. Okay. Oh, and, and this little bag of bum drops for this sugar cluster. Okay. Oh, and this this Joe for three kisses. Okay. How old are you? Wait. I don't have any kisses. Oh. Break, break your 
we've lost contact with Katie and Daryl. Please. This is one of my favorite lines from Bert coming in. This is one of my favorite Nobody lines. Nobody puts CBs in SUVs these days. Uh, you just left your baby cousin to the mercy of killer monsters on Halloween night, and you're concerned with the additions and upgrades in my cardboard SUV? Eh, good point. <laughs> Good line and good delivery by that kid. This movie will. This special will is. Damn. It is. So damn determined to put that theme in your head. And here's our second openly gay character. <laughs> Harry! Hi, Harry! Come on in! Thank you, scary godmother. I don't mind if I do. Mm, where are those wonderful spells emanating from? The pretty plate, I believe. You won't mind if I just sample the delicacies, do you? No! Down for it! Last year, you definitely... Well, it's in the animation in the... And the so people want to freak the hell out. Yeah, sir, just... I come to a party to enjoy the company of good... The just jokes I make about the gay stuff, that, except for Pennyborn, I mean, for God's sake. With Harry, it's definitely a joke. And while I say the uh, animation has definitely not aged well, some animations definitely have, like, mainly the animation a lot of the time on the main cast of characters, mainly the monsters. It's aged, not like milk, but uh, like a juice or like a cereal, I guess. Where it can last longer than a milk. Look at Scully! Look at this fight! He's like, hey, what did you do? See? Yeah, see? I'm yeah, gonna give you a rap! Jesus. You know who she is? Of course! It's Ophelia St. Arthur, who played the Princess of Ectoplasmania in episode uh. 2 of the Spectral Six! <laughs> She's practically in the same costume as well! What a priceless in-joke for those of us who are long-time spectators, like myself, of course. Oh, dear, Miss Tartar? <laughs> Again, one of the weirder mind fucks of the show. This series. One of the most popular characters because of shit. A month of 30 day, 31 day shipping. Being around royalty, but don't worry. We should offer them some refreshments, don't you think? Yeah, that's probably good manners when you're dealing with kings and queens. Covered flock. Why are they just standing there? Oh no, that's right. They <laughs> can't enter a house unless you invite them in. The facial expressions are some that's very weird, right. but oh, yes. wacky in this movie. I'm proud to have the king and queen of the night grace my humble home. Can't try to, uh, what's it called? The place looks I can't remember great. what it's called. Help yourselves to the Curtsy. Hannah, this is Count Max, his wife Ruby, and their son Orson. 
and the one that will be shipped with you for eternity for some goddamn reason. Are you a real vampire? Of course I'm a real vampire. Are you are you human? And then that Shyamalan just took over the camera. They're not moving, are they? They're just the camera acting like a dick. Oh God. Vam Max would be Norse and vampires, Harry Werewolf and Miss Page on Skeleton. They're very generic. This is inventive and creative to look at with Bugaboo. He's a very inventive looking monster. At least to me. <laughs> this makes me laugh. This is. See ya, Puzzle! What are you, a coal miner? But my dad said. Uh, Hannah, flashlights only work on monsters that hide in your closet. Y yeah, and a uh, bugaboo is a monster that hides under your bed. Nice cover. <laughs> Just, how the hell did she not hear Hannah not hear that? Yeah, and a vampire, a skeleton, a walking skeleton, a werewolf, and aren't aren't scary looking, and I'm ghosted. Big and scary. 
Jerry's right. Ah, oh, you're just trying to butter me up. You would have fell on the floor. <laughs> you got it. After all, <laughs> it is my house. Question. Question, if it's his house, why does he sleep Door in the basement? Is jar. Door I guess is he does jar. spend time his job Door is to be under is kids' beds. Will you stop that? Please fasten your safety belts. Uh, why is And here comes the best him? scene in the movie. Congratulations, moron! You just missed Halloween because you were stupid. You could have left, Jimmy! Your hand wasn't your responsibility! Now what are we gonna do? We practically missed Halloween! This isn't funny anymore. We gotta go in and get Hannah. She's gotta be scared to death by now. Look, I'm the leader of this group, and I say we wait. Who made you leader? What do you mean? Of course I'm the leader! That's not fair! We didn't even vote! You want to vote? Fine, we'll vote. Who wants me for leader? The dick who locked a child in this house. Okay. Who wants Bert for leader? Daryl? Katie? That's one vote for everyone. I demand a recount! There. Dude, it's, it's vote for everyone. Recount. <laughs> I do it. Nobody has changed their vote. This is a very I stupid joke that it does not make any goddamn out. sense to me. Recount. That's one vote for everyone. Recount. Will you two stop it? Thank you. Uh, we'll do rock paper scissors. Ready? Go. <laughs> Game of rock, paper, no scissors, winner. no one would well, choose the rock this many Nobody's times. That is a true voting. dick move, so <laughs> but the one that everyone Stay probably pulled. Oh, hello. Carrots. I mean in the fridge, silly. Oh, sure, sure. I know. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Must be painful for Orson. Someday I'll be the night. Someday I'll be movie star, princess, veterinarian, astronaut, ballerina. With a pony. That's five cool. careers, kid. I was practically better than that. Hmm. You fail patience. I remember when the vampire queen used to look like a queen. Me too. Oh, Max. It's just a modern little frog. Too modern and too little for my taste. You can practically see her ankles. Don't freak okay. out, Max. After all, you can see my ankles. Mine too. I think she looks nice. And just like that is back on. Red is she, yes. Beautiful, of course. But her ankles, really. One century of these corsets and bustles, and the next thing of all, it's platforms and miniskirts. 
Ew. So, as I was saying, do snacks. Where's everything else that he threw? What? Dancing always makes me peckish. What's the matter, my love? You are usually the death of the party. I do not want to talk about it. Oh, oh tell me, my alabaster Romeo. Why are you so out of sorts? Yeah, it is just... What makes it? I don't want any bad blood between us. I am simply no good at parties. Look, conversing with ease, I feel out of touch, and then I get self-conscious. But they are friends. They like you just the way you are. Five hundred years their senior. I know. I just have to remind myself every now and again that it is the twentieth century now. The twenty-first century, my precious. Great. Now my watch is stop this man. And to the other line I quote a lot in how in October. Start with a joke. A joke? I think I will try. This is a very real kind of thing where you're in a social situation and even if you're a friend you feel um self-conscious about being out of touch with things. Or something like that, I don't know. with everyone can agree on. Pizza, the one food everyone agrees on. Vegan, carnivore, a freaking vegetarian. Um, someone who can't eat gluten or some bullshit like that. There are a pizza for everybody. Who wants garlic? I get a good joke. <laughs> I'm looking at that one, Gay Skeleton. I've lost you. Fourth wall break. Really and the only like one in this movie. Harry, we haven't forgotten who inhaled the buffet. Touche! <laughs> well Bugaboo you. has the look of death in his eyes. Sushi, I'll phone this in. I could count that as a fourth wall break, but I feel like everyone does. Oh, yeah, you just see. Yeah, this is a DVD so version, essentially. Shut up, Daryl! <laughs>
Thank you, Jimmy. Have you all gone crazy? Little babies believe in monsters, okay? We don't. We're the big kids, right? There's no such thing as monsters. Well, there aren't such things as wolves. This is the best joke in the movie. Yep. The best joke in this movie. This is what happens if a ghost writer retires. I left it in my other pelvis. Oh, ha, ha. Very funny. Twelve pizzas, Harry? Naturally, I want it to be considerate of everyone's choices. Fork over the dough. Or we can just sell Harry's soul. Whole candelabra. Effect on the magic, I guess, for 2003. <laughs> It's turned to ashes in my mouth. Oh, that's fine then. I had half ashes, half green peppers. That's a spicy pizza. This is great. We both like the same kind of pizza. Nothing better than cheese and olives. Yo, mine's starting to cool off. That's when it gets nice and cloudy. Wanna try? Uh, uh, um, well, we've been eating pizza with garlic. And if our tea touched your pizza, and then you ate it. Oh, yeah. Your allergy. Whoa, thanks. I wasn't thinking. <gasps> so other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how would you enjoy the show? Awkward silence. Well, anyway, I should probably be getting home. I almost forgot what I came here for. I'm sorry I was scared of you, Bugaboo. Here. Well, aren't you sweet? How did you know monsters like candy? Who doesn't? Jimmy told me. He said that every year a new kid has to leave candy for the monsters. Otherwise, the monsters will come and eat every one of us. <laughs> No, she has 300 cousins named that Jimmy, get fit. Jimmy that's on my route. I scare him silly every other Thursday. Big kids get scared? Oh, yeah. Since I'm under kids' beds, I know all the things they're afraid of. It's my job. Hannah, where is Jimmy now? Waiting for me, I guess. Well, <laughs> his wait is just about over. I think it's time we taught those big kids a lesson. Here's the plan. Well, those are there just... It's just the stock music of Put and Rewind, but it's still very eerily catchy. By now, with ho trick or treating technically over, wouldn't her parents be worried to hell and back where her do their daughter is? And uh, even these kids' parents. I told you, there's no. Fine, I'll go. I'm going with Jimmy, and I'm going too. I'll be waiting for you right here. 
right here, alone, in the dark. We better get going. All this really needs is a light. Who the heck are you? What are you doing here? I'm Orson. I'm a vampire. I'm Jimmy. I'm the devil. Happy Halloween. Hey, have you seen a little kid dressed like a dumb fairy princess, probably bawling her eyes out like a big baby? Fairy wings? Gold crown? Pink dress? Yeah! Nope. Uh, we say joke, but oh, eh. This is Daryl. He's a piece of candy. Katie, she's a cat. And Bert, he's... Uh, uh, he's a baseball player driving his SUV. Nice laser cannon, by the way. See? The vampire kid knows what I'm supposed to be. Ah, uh, he ain't no vampire. He's just another dorky kid someone else dared to go into the spook house. Am I right? Answer me this, bat pal. You've been here all night. How wouldn't you have noticed if someone walked by and walked into this house? I'm gonna tell my dad that you said I'm not a real vampire. Tell him. Tell your mom too. Mom, dad! But, stop me if you've heard this one. Four lovely kids walk into a spook house. In? Well then, then we eat them, of course! Oh no, you tell the funny joke! <laughs> <laughs> if you, again, question my jokes about Scully being gay, EXPLAIN THIS! Come on! Okay. Cameraman. Who this howl, howl, aren't I frightful? Rend, tear, fool, mutilate. Hey, Daryl. Run. You have strength to Daryl's, um, shoulders is in his back and his legs. To hold Harry, he's probably good into the 500 pounds. Maybe it over something like that. He's gonna be very 100 pounds. <laughs> Jesus. The bug eyes. Try to put more feeling into a bugaboo. Bug eyed weirdos. Would that feel uncomfortable for a skeleton having to do that? I, I wonder. <laughs> Orson. There's the Witch of the West reference. How did no one else see that Harry was outside? Even next door to the, the house? He was outside the door? Just... Okay, Drama King. Or, no, he's a Drama Queen. Die! Just use this key in any door. 
We'll see you soon. Thanks, Scary Godmother. Ah, we need you! Bring your flashlight! Hannah! Hannah! <laughs> Would you mind holding my hand? Oh, and just in case, sir, you get scared, that is. You are screaming like a bitch! Hey, like it's a Broadway performance, Scully. So, that was Scary Godmother and Halloween Spooktacular. As I said, there are two movies based off a, I think it was a three book series, maybe four, I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of The Forgotten. And stay tuned real soon because I will be right back, even though it is very into tomorrow morning, October 29th. Um, I'll be right back with Luigi's Mansion, and I promised a big surprise with, uh, that series. Anyway, uh, have a good one. Hope you enjoyed Scary Godmother. Oh, no, before I forget, because I was saying, um, this movie only had, this film series only had two movies, even though this, the book series had, I believe, three or four, and even still to this day, people are saying they want Scary Godmother 3. I would not be ashamed of it, but, but, but because a lot of it would be based on the book, they be, it'd be weird to see how the movie would do it. I say this. Um, even though it would be fun to see a Scary Godmother third movie, or even just a little mini-series of the things with Scary Godmother, I am perfectly fine with letting it rest with its two hit movies. I'm going to say that. They're not uh, critically renowned, but... They don't. They are not movies to be critic re reviewed. That movies baits. They're not movies to be seen by movie critics. They're made by. They are movies made to be seen by little kids on Halloween in October before they go trick or treating just to get them in the sp mood for Halloween. They're not supposed to be cr cinematic, cinematic, cinematic pieces of art. It's just. Just a goofy movie based on a book series. Anyway, um, insane. Have a good night, guys. See you later for right back for Luigi's.